but because of all the circumstances, you know, in my personal life, what's been going on, I feel like that has been taking a toll on me. You know, he saw like I was on the court and I was like texting and I was, you know, like so doing so much. And he's like, Emma, like, I'm sorry, but I need to talk to you about this. We're gonna get straight into it. When you scratch yourself, you know, you lose weight. <laughs> but we were just kids to lose. To lose weight, no way. <laughs> Hello guys, uh, welcome to the podcast, the Amazing Tennis Podcast. Um, it's been a while since we recorded. Uh, it's been a busy few weeks, but we're back and with a lot of content and a lot of information about. It. It's basically going to be um, focused on Emma's Emma's progress through the the whole process of going back on tour. Some some not so great great things, right, with the injuries and stuff like that that she's been dealing with. But kind of we're gonna update people of how she's doing with this this new uh, training and and everything. So. Let's get right into it. How's it been, Emma, these last few weeks with the training? Uh, what do you have been dealing with and, and the injuries and all this stuff? Yeah, hi. We're going to be... <laughs> so how it's been? God, it's been up and down. It's been a lot. I'm not going to lie. It hasn't been so pretty. I mean, I'm really happy I'm doing this. And, you know, you see that I'm, you know, happier and whatever I'm enjoying because I'm going for my dreams. I'm doing what I want to do. But because of all the circumstances, you know, in my personal life, what's been going on, I feel like that has been taking a toll on me. And that's why, you know, mentally, when you're not good, when you're not like fully in, then I think like it's connected to everything that's going on physically as right. well. Yeah. So in last like four or five weeks, like what happened? Like I pulled a quad. I was out for a few days. I mean, not a big deal, but still yeah. I couldn't really. Then I strained and... A muscle in my ankle so still recovering from that and then last week i pulled an ab muscle here while serving so it's like okay here we go you know like what am i doing wrong here so i'm trying to you know like tweak some things that i'm doing with fitness with recovery definitely haven't been doing a good job when it comes to that like recovery part yeah, yeah nutrition yeah. Mm -hmm. So, you know, it's it's a big change. It's a big lifestyle change. Like seven years of not playing or anything. I mean, it's not like I'm not playing, but I have to act like a professional athlete right now. Yeah. And that is, you have to think about sleep. You have to think about nutrition. You have to think about mental performance. You have to think about all these little aspects. It's not just about go and play tennis. You have to check all these marks and you have to really fully be in you cannot be half in half not and that's kind of what i started and i was like okay i'm doing this you know and then sergio the coach i'm working right now like one day he like you know he saw like i was on the court and i was like texting and i was you know like so doing so much and he's like emma like i'm sorry but i need to talk to you about this it's like you decided to do this fully Okay, you have to be fully in. Right. You cannot be here and working. You cannot be here thinking about this. Mm -hmm. And it's true, but it's easier said than done because I have to transition, right? There's so many question marks. How am I going to do everything? What am I going to do with my business? How am I going to do this? That I don't, I started training, right? But without being like fully ready. I'm like, okay, I'll just figure it out as I go. Yeah. But I'm not, I mean, slowly things are coming together. Right, but it's still far away yeah. from coming together. One thing that I thought we were, uh, I was, I was able to uh, train a little bit with Emma this morning and uh, watch her hit with her coach, and then we hit a little bit, and we did some uh, of her workout as well you know, with a new trend that she's working with, and it's been it was something that came up that was really interesting with Sergio, uh, Emma's coach, was that she almost looks a little bit afraid, right, to to go full like full power, full like intensity because you have that fear of the injury, right? So it's not only the in, like the physical injuries that it's obviously the worst, right? Not being able to actually perform because of pain, but also what mentally what it brings and how it limits you to not be able to really give 100% intensity because of the, even in, with Jordan, right? With the trainer, we're doing on-court on stuff. Uh, and in some drills, you could just see like, you can do a little more, but it's that fear of like, I don't wanna do, I don't wanna do, I get the ankle injured again or whatever. So it's not only, the injury itself, but what it comes with mentally, right? Which yeah. has been, it's been taking a toll on you. Today, the podcast is not exactly like super organized like we've done before. It's, we have a lot to talk to about, about uh, regarding Emma's uh, process and transition. 
So it's gonna be kind of flowing com like conversations, some questions that I have for her that you guys probably wanna know and, and learn. Uh, shower thoughts are back. I've got a couple written down because it's been a while, so some stuff just randomly pop into my head uh, the, at random during times. During shower, actually? Or? No, they're just no. called shower thoughts. Some of them maybe shower thoughts, but some of them are just, I'm just, yeah. it just pops into my head randomly. So we're gonna kind of mix them into the, the podcast. So we're gonna do some questions, then a shower thought, and then we go back into the conversation. We're gonna get straight into it. When you scratch yourself, you know, you lose weight. <laughs> Have you ever thought about that? When you scratch yourself, you know how you lose cells, right? There's skin that's falling off. Like, have you ever seen it on a camera? I don't know what they're called, but like, they're not thermal cameras, but you can see like everything in the air. Everything looks dark and then particles, you can see them in the air. When you scratch yourself, they're like, all the particles of your skin are like falling, right? If you see like on a microscopic level, mm -hmm. you're technically losing weight when every time you scratch yourself. Okay, so how did you, how did you, Talk about this. No, I, I, I talked about this. <laughs> I talked about this because I think I think this one I saw. I saw, but it, it was like it kind of freaked me out when I thought about it. So you're technically losing weight when you're scratching yourself every time. You know? Can I? Can yes, I yes, yes. It's common. It's a big topic right here. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get that weight loss going. Yeah. Um. Is it at that specific spot where you scratch yourself? Is that where you're Oh, no, 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 no. It was just an example. Okay. I think anywhere in your body, especially your hair, I think there's a lot of like dead skin. That's weight, technically. You know, um, you know, in college, somebody told me that you lose weight if you're kissing with someone. Did you know that? No, why? I don't know. You're losing weight. You both are losing calories. Oh, oh I thought it was some... Oof, my mind... I don't know why I thought about saliva right away. <laughs> I know that's crazy. But and, and um, so I had a friend, we were not dating or anything, but we were just kids to lose. To lose weight, no <laughs> way. I gained a lot of weight my freshman year. And we were <laughs> friends. Like, gym wasn't even an option. Like, <laughs> gym? Nope. I was going to kiss him, right? <laughs> That's good. We haven't tell you how. Okay, uh, so now in terms of, I think, uh, yeah, habits, right? How your life, like lifestyle habits that you think have changed a lot. I've seen a lot of them already. But I think um, a lot of things that you don't post, it would be nice to tell people like in terms of nutrition, uh, things like how, like what time do you sleep? What what things have actually changed? Which one, which ones have been like a little tougher for you in terms of your lifestyle that have helped you and you think are different now that you're training for a, for a high level? So my, my trainer sent this video to me uh, of how elite athletes sleep. And they say 12 hours a day. But 12 hours, but not like at once. Like they oh, take I naps see, see, during see, the day. Okay. But to me, 12 is a lot. It's, a lot it's half of your day. Yeah. I feel like, and they're saying like how Oof. it's... I, I just have a new shower thought. So good. Okay. And going. they say how it's huge in athletic performance. Right. And I mean, I'll send you the video. It's actually quite interesting. Like from Djokovic, mm -hmm. Federer, like all of these elite athletes, that's all they're talking about. Cristiano Ronaldo takes like three naps during right what how yeah, yeah, yeah like how i don't know i don't know um anyways for me that that's been a big one right i have two little Sleep. kids okay you know and whenever i don't so we're doing time sharing right now with my ex-husband so we do um we switch every two or three days and then the nights when I don't have them, I sleep so good. You know, I make sure, but I always like make sure I get eight hours of sleep. Okay. And I thought it was plenty. I right. really thought it was plenty, like eight hours. I'm like, if I get eight hours, I'm like, yes. Right. Yeah, yeah. You know, like for example, I fell asleep last night at 10. I woke up by myself at four, like wait, wait. I'm like, okay, I'm, I'm ready to go. I'm like, right. Oh, it's only four, let me sleep two more hours. Yeah. You know, so I feel like, because on the other nights when I do have the kids, I don't sleep well. Right. It's interrupted sleep, I'm waking up, so then during the day I'm more tired and like, why is this like this? So that's going to be a tough adjustment for me because I don't really have time during the day to just go home and take a nap. Right. Unless I completely just decide, okay, I'm just doing this, I'm not working and I'm just focused on my career. Because yeah. I still have to work. I mean, I don't really, when I think about it. I think slowly I'm going to really lower, lower, lower that I'm doing like maybe five hours a week of lessons. Right. And that's it. Yeah. Because I need to really focus on that recovery. I'm not doing the recovery. I'm not. And that's just how it is. 
And then nutrition, you know, like I had a nutritionist make a meal plan for me. Barely even looked at it, right. you know, I spent money on it and everything. I'm like, okay, I'm not even, you know, I'm just trying to get more protein when I'm, you know, when I'm eating, she said, you know, to always have protein, healthy fat and some carbohydrates, you know, and honestly, like with my lifestyle, I just like yeah, eat yeah, whatever yeah, yeah. as mm -hmm. I go. Yeah. So definitely that is something I'm like, okay, is it that maybe that's why I'm getting these little injuries? Right. There's all these questions popping up, you know, um, because on the days when I don't have the kids, I'm great. I train, like, like today, for example, yeah, you know, yeah. train in the morning, hour and a half, really intense training. Then I had a nice breakfast, I had time to actually sit down and eat. Then um, after that, that's fitness for like hour and a half. Then recovered in the pool and sauna. Then, um, and now I have the afternoon off. Yeah. You yeah, know, yeah. and I'm not working today or anything. Right. So that's that's nice. If I could do that and just kind of like balance out some days, you know, tomorrow I got work and, you know, it's it's hard because I still have to make money until right. I have the sponsors and have everything covered. Then it's going to be easier. and I'm going to have like less pressure that I actually have to work. But I still want to I still want to build my business. I don't want to stop my business because I started it six years ago and I worked really hard to be here where I'm at now so I don't want to stop it now go on tour and then start over right, right? Yeah, yeah. I wanted to keep going so then when I'm done with tour I can just continue where I left off yeah. um, but I'm just it's really hard to find that balance right now to be honest yeah. with everything and I think we were talking about this today how we both have personalities that are very black and white right so like yeah. it's all in or no so I think this is a great comment about how these things are huge changes, especially in nutrition with how busy we are like with the club and working and stuff. And we always are gonna, in a rush or we don't have time to prepare a meal. It takes so much time, you know, uh, with plus everything else we got going on in our lives. So um, it's it's finding that balance of sometimes you will mess up, right? Sometimes you will eat a meal that's like, you don't have time and you eat crackers for breakfast, right? Yeah. And you, yeah. you don't have time to build an actually healthy breakfast. Um, but learning how to get there, right? At some point, you don't have to be a full-time athlete right now. You're getting there, right? Yeah. But you can be like building into it and incorporating some, as you said, like healthy fats, uh, like one solid meal a day. And then, I don't know, like getting there instead of being like, okay, I have to be a hundred percent now and every, every meal has to be perfect. Cause then you burn out and then you end up being doing nothing. Right? And you're like, no, this doesn't work and I'm, I'm done. I'm getting injured. Yeah. So just kind of respecting as a process uh, regarding the sleep. I think it's uh, something that I, it's really interesting that I saw the other day was the sleep cycles, right? About how, I don't know if you know anything about this, how like sometimes 30 minutes of REM sleep is better than an hour. Because it's REM sleep. So REM sleep, like when you go into deep really sleep. deep sleep, right? But it's better sometimes like, I don't know, after 30 minutes, if they're like waves, right? So if you stop and you wake up in a, in the middle of one, then it, like you, you wake up like exhausted, right? And really grumpy yeah, like you sometimes yeah. do, and we can clearly see it. You know what I mean? But if you, I mean, you know what I mean. And you're never grumpy. No. Okay. Fine. So I'm the only one. So sometimes it's better like 15 minutes and actually interrupting that cycle when it's done than like an hour or two. And when you wake up and you feel like you didn't rest at all. Yeah. And that stuff is really good for athletes as well. Um, okay. Shower thought that came up. I didn't have this one written down. If you think about it, so we were talking about 12 hours of sleep, right? A day with naps and everything for athletes, ideally. If you sleep 12, you're sleeping half, half of your life, you're asleep. Yeah. Half of your life. Yeah. Let's say eight, right? Yeah. Like normal. You're sleeping in one third of your life. One third of, on a bed, on a couch or whatever. <laughs> how crazy is that? So much time wasted, right? Like it's crazy how much time we need to recover. How, like half your life is so much. I know. And then if you want to take this another step, I was talking with this to my beautiful girlfriend, shout out to Tamara, um, about uh, like if you're 20, so I'm 20, this is gonna be worse for you. You're, you're, you're one third of your life, like done. Like let's say 90, 90 is a good age to die, yeah. right? Yeah. I think that's like yeah. normal. You're, you're one third of your life is gone. Yeah. You're one third there to the finish line. <laughs> Why that's are we good, talking about I this? I don't know, these, like, these things that we never think, think about, talk about, we never think about, but it's like, it's crazy. 50, like 50 years, not that old. We didn't think that old. You're halfway through your entire life, right? Kind of dark, but it's, it's a lot. Cause I feel super young, right? 23. I never, I never think about that. Me neither. Honestly. Me neither. Not that like much. Like I'm but... just 
I don't know. I'm trying to really live in the Okay, world. now. Okay, uh, philosophical. No, no like, yeah, I know. You I have, get it. Me like, too, why but... would I even think about, okay, it's been one third of my life? Maybe it has, maybe it's been freaking, maybe I'm gonna die tomorrow. Yes, yes. You know? 100%. So, live the moment, I guess, is the lesson. It is. It is. You know what I heard the other day? What did you or hear? Or I, I saw this uh, video, one of the videos on Instagram. They asked, okay, let me ask you this question. If somebody would give you one billion right now, would you take it to say yes or no? Like nothing, you have to do anything. Just here, you want a billion? Yeah. 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 Right? Because you know what you would do with that money and everything. Mm -hmm. If somebody told you, I'm going to give you one billion today, or you're going to die tomorrow. No, of course not. Okay. But you see, like, we need to have a different perception of life. Like when you wake up, Tomorrow morning, you should wake up like every day thinking that, you know, today's a new day. If I have a billion or I don't have a billion, it doesn't matter, right? Like I'm, I want to live my life to the fullest and I'm happy to be alive. I'm just, so it's more important to you to be alive than to have, you know, the billion dollars, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know? Yeah, like, no, I do get it. And I think this, what I said about the one third of your life, like it's kind of dark when you hear it first year, but it can also be really motivating, you know? Because you, it kind of gives you a perception of how short it is, yeah. and then it kind of gives you, it kind of gives you like screw it, you know, like screw it. like if I'm actually if one fourth of my life already, it's it's really an instant that we're alive. Like our whole life is so fast, you know, it's really yeah. not that long. So like, it, and we do a little like, oh, like when I'm forty, I'm gonna do this. And yeah, now, it's yeah. like why are we planning so far ahead? Know. You know, I know. You know what I mean? It's I feel like we hear it so much on social media, like yeah. no, like live your life, be free, and it, it's one of those things that you hear so much, you you never do it. You know? No, but it's until you actually feel it. And yes. I was talking to this to somebody about this the other day. I was looking at these motivational videos, this and this, go for it, go for your dreams. But until you actually are living it and doing it, that's when you actually feel them. Right. Like right now, I am going for something that is completely uncomfortable, right? So I had this great comfortable life, right? Didn't have to worry about anything, right. finances, everything, you know, had nice house, nice cars, job, everything, comfortable life, whatever. But then I chose this tougher route, right? Where maybe it's going to bring me, maybe I'm going to be successful. I don't even know. It doesn't, it doesn't matter. But this is what truly makes me happy. This is truly what I want without asking anybody, what do you think? What? Because I feel like my whole life, I'm just asking somebody for you know, for permission, right. or for approval, yeah. you know, like, okay, is this the right choice? Is this the right thing? There's no such thing as the right thing, right? You, I'm learning how to trust my gut more. And that is way more important than anything else. And once you learn that, and I'm not saying it's great right now, right? I'm at this like breaking point of like, you know, I'm going in, in between my life, right. lives, one life, other life. And, um, but deep inside, I feel free and I feel good. Right. Like I can finally breathe. I had the courage to admit that this is what I want. Right. This is the life I want to live. And I was just up to me how I'm going to live it. And there's going to be suffering in there. And suffering is part of it, right? But if it's truly what you want, instead of living this life that's comfortable and that you're like, eh, but you're not deeply fulfilled, then... What's the point? Why living? Why why live it like that? Yeah, yeah. I mean, we're going and, deep here, but and no, I think I think it's it's also really important to mention as well. Like, this doesn't mean a certain taking a certain route, right? Because always like athletes, actors, singers, like it's always like those are the glamorous like paths that we know about, right? Like, yeah. But it's it can also be a what we call a comfortable life, having a nine to five, right? There's some people that that's like they, that's I truly they know, and that's what they really like yeah. are incredibly happy. There's nothing wrong with any absolutely anything like that you choose as your life path or your life career, right? And there's not a single one that's wrong, right? There's just some people that like uh, they, they like competing is what they what makes us happy, right? We we love competing, we compete in everything, and uh, I don't know. But for someone, it, it can be just their dream like salary job, and that's what they truly love, and they're amazing at it, and they put yeah. every single day they come with an amazing attitude. So there's no like. Yes, there's a glamorous path, it's like athletes and singers and whatever, but it's just an, the idea of being like, not lying to yourself, right? Being really honest of, honest this is what I really want to do. You can't, you can trick, as we said in like last vlog, we can trick 
Anybody except ourselves, right? Exactly. Because you can't trick yourself, so. And you have to live a life that's true to yourself. And, but it's important to work on that and to discover what it is, right? You can't be like one day, okay, maybe it's this, maybe it's that. Like dig deep, work on yourself. Work on yourself with whoever. I think it's important to constantly read, to talk. I have a life coach. I have a therapist. I do a lot of talking about discovering myself. That's how it all started a few months ago, honestly, when I started talking to the life coach. And, you know, it's just um, digging deeper right. and figuring yourself out because nobody can do it. The shower thought is uh, there's no word in English that ends with a J. I'll let you think for a few seconds. BJ. That's not a word. It is. Oh, but think about the word. There's one in Spanish, reloj, which means clock. Not a sing In Spanish, there's one word, literally. Like, if you Google, if you guys Google it, there's words that end with, but they're really not English words. They're like, like Indian or Arabian words that are super, they, they're kind of like names in English. Uh, oh, no, so yeah, sorry. if you guys have a word, send it over. There's not a single, I'm pretty sure there's not a single word with an with a J uh, in English. Um, so we're gonna finish with the la this last question about, um, I had the pleasure to meet Emma's coach today, a uh, super nice guy from Spain. And uh, I think you guys have a, a great energy going on, right? We talked a lot about like how the importance of the energy with the coach. So can you talk a little bit about how you decided this was the, the right person to coach you through this, this process? So I'm a true believer that everything happens for a reason and everything happens at the right time and you manifest the right people in your life when you actually like need them, right? Like I've known Sergio for a long time. I, I knew him when I used to play on tour, he coached some of the girls. So, you know, we would set practices and everything. But in these like last seven years I've been coaching, you know, maybe we would talk here and there, but I would never connect with him or anything. And right before I decided to go back on tour, he like messaged me and he's like, hey, let's connect, let's meet up, get coffee, talk about like some business ideas. Right. Literally. Uh, yeah, yeah. And then I was like, hey, I'm actually decided, I actually decided to go back. Maybe I can come there and, and hit and we can, you know, we can see how it's going. He's like, sure. And literally like I went and in that, in that first practice, I felt it was right. You know, like like you said, the connection, the... I feel like right now, I don't know for later, who, who knows, but right now in my life and in my tennis career, he knows exactly what I need. He knows my game and he knows how to help me to get to the next level. And another big thing, remember when we spoke in the last podcast and you asked me, you know, what are your goals? And I was like, you know, I'll mostly play doubles. You know, I wanna win a grand yeah, slam, yeah. blah, blah, blah. Remember I told yeah, yeah. you, know, I was like singles, I don't know. So then when I spoke to him after a few days and we're like sitting down like this after a lesson and he's like, you know, so what, what's your plan? What do you want to do? I was like, you know, I was thinking a little bit doubles, try here and there. He's like, no, like why? You're in this and you're in this full out. Why would you just do doubles? Right. You're capable of playing singles. You're doing really well and you can do really well with a lot of hard work, with a lot of, you know, grinding. Of course, but he's like, why would you settle just for something like, eh, okay, let's do a little doubles. Right, yeah. And you know, it hit me then. I was like, yeah, if I'm going in, I'm going in all, like all in, all out. You know, I want to give my 100% singles, doubles. See, you know, if later I just want to, I don't even know. No, triples. Tuesday night triples. <laughs> why not? Um, <laughs> Oh, anybody in the Wellington area, we do, are we still doing it this summer? We are. Tuesday triples, we have this thing going on on Palm Beach Polo. Welcome to non-members as well. Uh, Tuesday triples, super fun. 537. If you guys have ever played, 537. Super fun um, style of play. <laughs> yeah, um, so yeah. So he's been, you know, we've been working hard. We've been setting like weekly goals and doing everything. And I feel like I've improved a lot in the last month that we've been working. And Sergio is our new, next guest in the podcast that's gonna be fun he's a great guy such a nice guy how great do you energy. know you met him one time amazing guy just right connection right, away, connected you know? right away yeah. yeah so yeah super nice guy and i think it's gonna be a, a fun podcast and i think with your personality you need someone like that. you know he's, yes. he's not afraid to say things you know yeah I mean? yeah like you can't have a nice coach there's no, no way no because yeah no you need someone that can say, say things and like 
I don't want to say put you in your place, but like be straightforward when you're being a little like uh, skeptical about something or you don't want to, do, you know what I mean? You have your time, but you're like, yeah. You put you know, that very nice. Very, very generous. <laughs> but uh, he, he's not afraid to that, right? He's afraid to push you, he's not afraid to push you and and uh, I think that's going to be, this will work out great. So yeah. The only thing is his English is not so good. It's actually pretty funny, you know? Like I yeah. need to start recording like what he says. It's actually pretty hilarious. Actually, and I like a list. It's hilarious. I only, I only heard the, the woman. No, you, you have to hear, have a talk. <laughs> like the way he says Bayside also, it's like best line. It's so funny. I laugh every time he says it. And you know how he like, the other day I played a set against this guy. And like after three games and I was like grinding, you know, he's like, Stop trying to look pretty and look nice with your shots. You need to fight. You need to show me more. Stop with this flower power. <laughs> so flower, I was like, flower power? Is this like a saying in Spain yeah, or yeah. something? How would you try to say this in Spanish? Uh, flower power. Poder de flor. <laughs> I've never heard that in my life. But, uh, yeah, it's Anyways, great. like, he's, great guy. he's like, you're doing this, so you need to learn how, you need to not learn, but you need to fight in the court, and not make it look so your shots are pretty and nice. And then like one time, uh, one time I was about to return a second serve and he goes like, don't be stupid. I know, I heard that too. No, yeah, he looks like he, he says it straight to your face. And, and that's why I like him because we talked about this at the beginning. I was like, I want you to be straightforward with me. I don't want anything like, and he's not the guy that's going to be like, hey, I promise you, I'm going to make you top 50. We're going to do this. He's not. He's like, you know, we're going to work hard. We can do this, this and this, but he's not like, yeah, yeah, no. Giving me he looks like one of those guys that you, what you see is what you get. You know what I mean? Yeah. He doesn't have any and layers. That's how I am too. Exactly. You don't have no filters whatsoever. That's very clear. So it's, yes, you guys. I do. I do. I mean, I do a lot of filters. But oh, I, here. But I post pictures. When you post and then the, you guys see the very best version of her, which is a great version, you know, but she's got a great side to her. I mean, who who doesn't? Who doesn't? That's true. That's like, true. Do, I'm not going to show when I'm pissed. Yeah. Um, no, yeah, that's going to be exciting. An exciting episode for sure. Um, so, yeah, we're going to finish with one last shower. I think I have one more. Uh, this is a good one. It's kind of like a basic one, but when you knock, you don't have to raise your hand. If you think about it, like, I'm gonna, try, I'm gonna get my niece to explain this. So this is a door, right? Like this. You put your arm like this, so you pretend. So we always go like walk to the door, right? Can you guys see that? Yeah. So you guys like walk to the door and we always go like this, right? Yeah. Like you raise your arm. Yeah. No need for that. No, you can let go, you like... can just like, you can go walk and just go like knock in the, where, your, where your hand is, right? You know, we always go like this. So what? Why? I don't, but sometimes I go like this. But you can just go like this. Why would hands. I go down? No, no, no. Your hands are already down. You don't walk like. Oh. You know what I mean? You don't walk like here and like you walk like this, and then you raise your hand only to knock. So why do people do that? I don't know. And so there's probably an explanation. Some Crazy stuff. stuff. Some yeah. really weird stuff. But anyways, thank you so much for watching and um, follow everywhere: YouTube, Instagram, uh, TikTok, Facebook. Support my journey. And let's do this. Let's do this. Uh, thank you for watching, guys. We're gonna definitely be more consistent. We're, we prom we should make a promise for this to everybody that's watching and listening. We're gonna do weekly podcasts now. Weekly podcasts. If and we're gonna you, release it every out. Friday. Deal. Because okay. every Monday I'm releasing the the vlogs. Okay. So now it's gonna be every Friday. Perfect. So Fridays, even if Emma's gone for something, a tournament or whatever, we'll do it over Zoom. Uh, we're gonna start. Zoom. 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 You said Zoom, like S. Zoom. Zoom, good. We're gonna do it over Zoom. Uh, <laughs> and so, yeah, we're gonna do it every week. And I, I think it's gonna be a lot more fun with guests. Like we haven't done guests yes. together. That's gonna be nice. Okay, thank you so much for watching. And I already said this. Yes. Uh, we'll see you next time with Sergio Martinez. No, he said he's like this. Sergio Martinez. 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 All right, guys, thank you for watching. Bye. Thank you so much for watching and for supporting me on this journey. For more content, please follow Tennis with Emma on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel.